Hey there, it is Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for July 4th through the 10th, 2022. Uh, July 4th. Uh, happy July 4th to all my American friends. Um, I hope you have an amazing holiday Monday. I was drawn to the Oracle of the Fairies deck by the lovely Karen Kay, uh, quite the little fairy herself, and I uh, will of course draw three cards for the energy of this coming week. This is a little spiritual guidance just to help guide you through this week, give you a little heads up on what to expect to help you be prepared for it. So I've drawn three cards now, let's see what they have to say. So card number one is Abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you have in fairyland and in human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. When you can think of money as energy, it may shift the way that you think about it. And I've had money work is something that I've done a ton on because I feel like it's one of those areas that I get blocked up in. So it's one that I've done a lot of work. So thinking of it as an energy, that there has to be this exchange of energy and that it's energy and it's forever there. There's constantly this flow of energy flowing to us. So money also should just flow to us. And it will, if you can think that way. Also think of the benefit of the money that you spend. I love, uh, James Wedmore talks about like going to a restaurant and giving a tip to a server and what that tip means to the server, that it maybe is going to pay their bills or whatever it is. Um, that they use that money for. I was like, oh, that energetically gives things a different feeling. So imagine money as energy and how do you connect to that energy of money? Sometimes that comes up and it has like a yucky feeling for you because of belief systems that have been handed down to you. This week, there is an awareness of this. There is this awareness of our money belief system and what is holding us back. They're saying to me that it's time to let go of some of those things that we have held on to. Like you have to work hard to earn money, to, to be successful. Um, you have to, um, I'm trying to think of some of those other belief systems. You have to have a, a regular paycheck job to be able to be successful, to be s supported and stable. The cards keep falling off my lap. They clearly want to be read. Um, some of these things, you, you know, you can't be an entrepreneur. You can't uh, go out on your own because that's not safe. Some of these things we need to let go of. The other side of this card is this piece of abundance. Abundance doesn't always mean financial. Abundance also is love, laughter, joy, happiness, and those are the things that are super important too. I look at my week and that there's a plan date in there at the end of the week with my husband because it's important to make time for each other, especially to make time for each other when we don't have any other responsibilities. So I am super excited for that because there's going to be an influx of abundance in the way of joy and happiness for me because I've made that time into my week. So ask yourself, do you make blank space in your calendar to allow yourself for self-care but also to have fun and create more joy and happiness in your life. Putting it out there. Okay, card number two. Like I said, they keep sliding off my lap. I'm not seeing them, uh, but they're sliding off my lap. Card number two is tree wisdom. The tree diet, dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Love it. Um. The signs, symbols, and messages from the other side are abundant right now. Yes, you have to ask for them. They are not just coming freely. Um, they're there, but if you really need that support, that validation, you need to ask for it. Divine intervention means that we are not allowed or the other side is not allowed to interfere in our human lives without being asked. So being sure that you are asking for those signs, symbols, and messages from the other side, it's simple. Just ask. It's not hard. When you ask for them, they will come. The question you have to ask yourself next is, will you allow yourself to receive them? Will you let your mind and your ego step out of the way so that your intuition can be clear so that you can really receive the messages that are coming to you? Because they are coming fast and furious right now and they feel very repetitive. And we've seen that in the card of the day, these repeating messages over and over and over and over again. They are there. You need to just quiet yourself to listen as well. You need to be prepared to accept them. 
trust and acceptance come hand in hand in the fact that sometimes we're not ready and we don't want to hear what it's saying. So if we're not ready to hear it, if we're going to fight up against it, that message isn't going to be clear, nor is it going to land or be received. So there's that piece of this as well. So again, this is this part about blocks that the universe is bringing up. They're saying that these blocks, this need for control or this need for things to happen a certain way or this need for things to complete or finish a certain way can block us from allowing us to have the experience we are meant to happen. And sometimes when we open ourselves up to that and really step into the flow, the outcome is way better than we ever expected. Okay, card number three is divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. Yes. Amen to that. Again, this all just comes together with this last card. The messages, the signs, the symbols, they're coming through. Your intuition has the answers. If you are taking the time to actually listen, actually get quiet, actually really embrace that intuition, you are going to have everything that you need to step forward. Step out of feeling like you need to have control and know everything that is happening and step into the flow with a sense of trust, trust in your intuition and trust in the universe, because that is where the magic happens. That is where you're really truly going to find that clarity. It is in our need to control things and schedule things and plan things that we get stuck. And yes, stepping into the flow means we can still plan and you know, set goals and so on and so forth, but we don't have to have that rigidity there that stops us from seeing when the path has changed or when we need to shift or when something much better is coming along. There are big, 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 big things happening right now. So please, please allow yourself to receive them. Please allow yourself to receive them. The universe is on your side. It has your back. And the angels, your spirit guides, your loved ones on the other side are rooting for you right now for things to become better, for things to flow more easily. The universe has your back. You have got this. I am so stinking excited for this week and everything that it reveals. Um, I love this energy. This energy is just of excitement and joy. Now, be careful. Excitement and anxiety have a very similar feeling. So choose it to be excitement over anxiety. Let go of the fear half of it and step into the flow again and step into that joy and that excitement. This week is going to prove that it will create a flow of joy and abundance this week, the messages that you need this week. There's going to be created next steps, next opportunities. It's just going to be fantastic if you really step into the flow of it. I am excited. <laughs> um, thank you so much for being here with me and sharing this message. Um, if you can like, tag, share, save, Tag somebody that needs to hear this or just share it in your stories. It means a lot to me. That's a, a beautiful energetic exchange. It's better than money or the same as money if we want to look at money as energy, right? So thank you for doing that for me. Uh, thank you for being here on my journey and allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide. From my heart and soul to yours, have an amazing week. Thank you.